Kim, thanks so much for the time. Great to see you as always. Uh, you actually met Eddie a few times. Can you tell us about that and the influence that Eddie Van Halen had on you and your guitar playing? Yeah, sure. How you doing? Um, there was actually so many moments. Richard Marks actually said it, it really cool. He said, you know, thanks for all the moments that we went. How did you do that? Um, there was so much of that. And everybody talks about his, his guitar playing. He sort of, I think there were two two moments in in rock music history where the guitar was reinvented. One was Jimi Hendrix, and the second one was when Eddie Van Halen came along. So um, his songwriting was ridiculous, and uh, his keyboard playing as well. And he was a sweet, sweet cat. It, you just take a look online on any social media site and just see how much love everyone had for that guy because he just stroll into your dressing room just be a normal dude which he did he did with us we played with him twice he walks in uh to the dressing room comes right over to me and said he enjoyed the set and uh and we chatted for like 15 minutes or so um we actually adopted something from that show which we call pulling a van halen because their stuff, in, they showed up at this stadium in the afternoon. They do all their press beforehand. And um, as their last notes are ringing, these two limousines pull up right to the stairs of the stage of this outdoor stadium. And they go right from the stage into the cars. And we just were, thought this was the coolest thing. So we call that pulling a Van Halen. So we adopted <laughs> the term like, hey, do you want to pull a Van Halen tonight? Or do you want to stick around after the show? So it was a sweet well, dude. Kim, and, what do you and, think... Uh, K sorry, carry on. No, I was just going to say it's a it's a terrifying moment as well, well Carolyn, when when you look over in the stage and he's standing there watching you play. That that was one of my sort of most terrifying yet exciting moments in my career. <laughs> I <bet>. Oh, <laughs> I can only imagine. So, <laughs> what do you think? And you you've you've touched upon it, I'm sure already. But you know, I you you read about Eddie and how he always had his guitar. You know, he was at a party. He pulls it. He's always playing the guitar yep. from when he was a kid. Right, you know, throughout the years, what do you think made him so unique? I think part of the fact that he started as a keyboard player. He he started on keyboards and then he went over to guitar. So his harmonic knowledge, and I'm not going to get nerdy here, but he had a lot more harmonic knowledge just from knowing what was going on in the keyboard that he could apply to the guitar. Then he worked on all, he discovered all this I'm not going to call it trickery, but he, he discovered all this stuff that, that he owned. He was the first one to sort of do it, all the tapping and, and stuff like that. And, and as much as he was a shredder, people have to know that it was so musical. It was so playful, but, but it, it, was, it, was, oh, it was beyond musical. Um, there isn't really a Van Halen song that you can listen to. And if you want to cop the song, you want to do the song, you have to learn his guitar solo note for note. Because if you don't play it like he played it, your audience is just going to leave. So, Yeah, uh, Kim, where do you think Eddie Van Halen ranks in the pantheon of rock guitar greats? I mean, you just a moment ago mentioned him in the same breath as uh, Jimi Hendrix. I mean, he is right there, isn't he? Yeah, he's. I, I call it the front row in the Church of Tone. Um, he, was, he was in the front row in, in the Church of Rock and Roll. So... Well said. Well, a pretty darn good guitar player himself, uh, Kim Mitchell. Kim, thank you so much for the time this morning, and thanks for helping us remember the great Eddie Van Halen. My pleasure.